Well, the municipal election is on its way in October and the mayoral race here in Oakville is heating up. Incumbent Rob Burton is on the ballot as well as Julia Hanna, who ran last election, but recently added is Jack Kukulik. Now, Jack is a 19-year-old film student at Sheridan College and I came out to speak with him to find out what his campaign is all about. So, Jack, you're running for mayor and this is certainly not your first foray into the world of politics. You started much younger at the age of 11. Tell me about that. Yeah, it started at a young age. It started back in uh, back when I was 11, like you said. Um, I wrote a letter to the editor of the Mississauga News about decreasing the voting age. And, uh, and from there, I was brought on to News Talk 1010 to kind of discuss it and have a conversation about why we might want to do that and get younger people involved. And now you're running for mayor. What's inspired you to do this at the age of 19? Honestly, after seeing the numbers in the last uh, municipal election here in Oakville, only 37% of eligible Oakville voters voted. And furthermore, 82% of people my age, 18 to 25, around that range, didn't vote. So 82% didn't vote in the last municipal election. And I wanted to get younger people involved and any groups that might not feel represented um, by, the current, uh, by the current government in Oakville to come out, share their voice, and vote in the next election. So do you think, do you, think you stand a chance? Well, I'm, you know, you wouldn't have a chance if you don't put your hat in the ring and, and you try. So I'm running a campaign and I'm listening. So I have a survey on my website where people can go and tell me a little bit about what they're feeling and what they might want to see change in Oakville. And I want to make change and, and bring people out. What have you been hearing from that survey? Have you gone door to door, that sort of thing as well? I'm definitely planning to go door to door soon in the upcoming kind of towards the fall in September. Um, and just people are saying that they just feel like they like Oakville is not um, necessarily the most inclusive place, if I could put it that way. Um, you know, one idea I did have, could we make, create a pilot project where, where, um, where we put a social worker in, in, an, in an Oakville library? Libraries are the last place you can go where anyone can go and it's free and you don't have to pay for anything when you're there. Um, and there's so many resources there like books, but also technology like laser printers and sewing machines and computers. Um, so what's another way that we can level the playing field and maybe give people access to mental health resources that they could, like, they could really use? Now there are numerous other positions, per se, you could be applying for. Counselor, school trustee, why jump straight to the moon? Why jump straight for mayor? Well, I felt like it was the best way to kind of get people's attention and show that anyone can run. If you can vote, you can run. And elections are for everyone. And, you know, I want to represent Oakville and show them what we can do to make change. Now, you mentioned that some of the folks you've talked to, you've already started to help educate about the political system, the municipal political system. Yeah, it was surprising. Like a lot of people, and it's not just young people, it can also be adults too that aren't really aware or don't really pay attention to the municipal system and, and even just voting in it um, at all. Um, some people didn't know that if you're a student, you can vote both at home and at school in municipal elections. Another adult asked me, um, is it, what does it cost to run? Is it $10,000 or something like that? And no, the answer is it, it's, it's not. It's $200 uh, to run for mayor and it gets refunded after you submit your financial report at the end of the election. And finally, Jack, my last question for you is why are you so passionate about politics? Well, I feel like there's just not enough people passionate about it. And that's always my goal is to just try to get people involved, get people out there and get people voting because, again, elections are for everyone. So if we can get those numbers up, that's what I'll be happy with. Excellent. Well, good luck. Thanks so much.